All right, we're in the midst of the Julius event. I've gotten pretty close now to getting him, uh, but we're hoping that, as with the Lord Zom event, if you can get him and unlock him in the portal first and then use your tokens to level him up, you can get to four star, and that's by far the best or the fastest way to do that. So I'm going to try for it again here. I went ahead and got one of the gem packages, partially for the purpose of rolling for him, but also in an effort to um, get to VIP level 3. And I talked about that in a video that was just put out recently. The biggest bonus is that you get that 50% increase on experience from experience pots, so that's a nice big jump there. Um, t cost about $25 to get to that point, get to that VIP 3 level. So let's go ahead and go into the portals and keep the fingers crossed. Again, we're doing heroic summons. I'm going to try to do this times 10 with the for 2,700 uh, gems here. So it says one guaranteed hero. I've only got one hero left that can come out of this. Uh, but we found out before that they can actually just give you lots of tokens for other heroes. So hopefully he's got a higher drop rate right now and we'll be able to unlock him. Um, if not, it'd be great to get some stuff for Masuta Kira. If I can unlock or I go rock, I'm only one token away from getting to the four star level. So that'd be great. I've got some other things that would be nice to get a hold of, but by far looking for that unlock of Julius right now. All right, so let's go for it. Anticipation for that first one. All right, starting off with a gold chest. A couple more, we get another token here, and um, I was looking for this one. I think that's a Crypt Evo, and looking for that for a couple different people. So that's nice. Another gold chest. Another token for Julius here, and I think this is a Earth, Earth Sisters. I'm assuming it could be a different one, but that's nice to get there too. Another gold chest, another token for Julius, and it looks like we've got enough for the upgrade for Archangel Emily. So we've probably got some additional tokens for her coming up here in the end. <coughs> we talked about this in another hero roll video, but when you do 10 at once, they sum them all up so you'll be able to see what you get for that. So we probably get a couple of those big unlocks for Emily there. Nice. Okay, so we got the five for Igo Rock. That's going to be putting us over to four star. So very nice there. Another one for Julius. Get the purple chest. Another one for Julius. And we got Sifu here. And the gold chest. More for Julius. More for Sifu. There's our Archangel Emily tokens. So technically that fulfills the requirement to have a guaranteed hero. But it's nice to have her at the three star level now. Julius, so that's what we were looking for. Awesome. Um, I, I was worried it wouldn't work out for us, but very nice. I've really been pleased with the luck on this game. I feel like they've, they've done a good job. If you put a little bit in, um, there's some nice things. So. That's great. That means, you know, last event we got Lord Zom unlocked during the event and then to the four star level. Now we've got Julius unlocked, and any of those future tokens are going to go towards getting him to that four star, which we'll definitely get by the end of this event. I was a little worried when I saw that 85 out of 100 keep coming up. I thought that might mean that I wasn't going to get him unlocked, but this is very nice. Very excited to have him. I can start playing with him and get a video out before too long kind of been holding off on the video heroes or the videos for the other heroes I unlocked recently so I can try to put them out in a batch. Let's see what else we get here. So still working on that. We've got 85 left here. I'll have him to four star probably probably sometime tomorrow morning, mid-afternoon, maybe even late tonight. Another one for Archangel Emily. So I was actually quite a ways away from that three star. So it looks like we got at least 50 from those two put together and that put us over to the three star area for her. I'd love to continue to get her to higher levels. She can be very powerful on a team. 
uh, especially even on I've seen her recently groups that have had her at four and five star and have used her on PvP even on offensive side after one of their char characters get taken out then she can be used um, especially because she's normal speed she'll go right after the other normal speed characters if anyone's been taken out she can bring them right back and they get a chance to attack again and if you keep her the most effective use I've seen with this we took out I, she was on the offensive side and, the, and I was a, my defensive team and our defensive team took out their Tasumi and then she resurrected him but only to partial health and he went ahead and did soul shred right away and so that was devastating for our team very effective use of Archangel Emily so that's it I'm very happy with that if I hadn't gotten Julius I might have tried a couple of these uh, 300 gem summons just as a kind of Hail Mary for him but very excited to have him unlocked looks like that completed a couple quests for me and prompted this special offer to come down let's take a quick look in here so one thing I wanted to check was for those evos and I can go back and review afterwards but I do think that was for this earth sisters yeah so Abigail and uh, and Yasmin here so we'll have enough now that we could upgrade her I do like having her as a secondary healer especially for some of those fire levels and then we'll scan all the way down I think that one was a crypt one which I really needed to we'll check that one more time before so let's look at Pontifex I know he needed okay so I think it actually wasn't a crypt one then because it was uh, dark and blue and dark and water so it must have been a different one I'll search back through later on won't waste any time here let's go down and look at Julius real quick I wondered since he has been showing up with different powers as we go through the campaign mode and he shows up let's take a look at his ability so I've got 15 more tokens until he'll be at full uh, 4 star Look at these traits real quick. Fully rested, so damage boost by 25% with his when his health is full. Really nice, especially again as a defender or something. Um, if other groups come in with all normal, he can do a lot of damage right away. A big boost in crit and attack for all beast allies. And we've currently got Day of the Beast going on right now, so that's just a temporary boost that he has. We'll go through this in more depth later on, but Barrel Toss. I didn't realize there was a buff to the team's crit rate, so that's nice. I knew it was a ranged physical attack on all enemies. And here, a chance for a random debuff. I thought that it was uniformly days. It, maybe they changed it, um, but I was noticing this random debuff when going when battling him on the campaign, so I wondered if that was, if that was different. So we need a couple more subterranean evos for him. Let's see what he gets next. I experienced the astounding pounding when uh, someone had him on defending team and it did just a crazy amount of damage. It doesn't, starting off here with 223, that doesn't seem, you know, I've seen some that started out a little bit higher, but I guess they may have been at a higher level while I was looking at them. Boosted damage versus taunting enemies, always very helpful to break through that. And then this pack rampage, which I'm sure goes well with pack leader. It's another one that boosts uh, beast allies. So, great character to have. Very excited to have him unlocked now and be able to get him to that four star level. He can make a great addition to a uh, to a defending team for raids, especially. So, thanks again. This went really well. I'm excited about the results. And we'll talk to everyone soon. Thanks.